Hi Geminis, thank you for tuning in. This is your January reading. So before I say anything, of course, I'm gonna wish all of you guys an amazing, blessed, loving, magical 2021. May all your dreams come true, all right? Um, yeah, I just kind of want to jump into this reading. I just want to see what it, you know, what the tarot has to say for you. I'm not gonna do too much of an intro. <laughs> um, if you ha haven't seen the 2021 reading yet for you guys, it's up on my channel. I'll link it down here below or you can go to, a, you know, to my channel and find it there. So you start off January with the moon card, right? Powerful card. Let's see what else is coming in for my Geminis for the month of January. First month of the year. Knight of Wands and the Moon card. So I do feel with this energy is that you guys are ready to really jump into the unknown. There's this energy shift happening definitely around this time. You know, I'm recording this in December, of course, but it's just this energy shift of I'm gonna try and see what is beyond there. Your ninth house really activated this this year in general. So it's like looking at things from a different perspective, really touching uh, base with the unknown ground you haven't traveled before maybe it is really all about traveling you know emotionally physically spiritually and if there is restricted on a physical level doesn't mean that you can't go beyond and stretch yourself beyond on like a mental level maybe you want to go back to school learn certain things or you're really intrigued by tarot or astrology or things like that can really come on your pathway this year so if you feel guided to follow that or try new things out in that field definitely a good year to do so um overall i feel that certain shifts and changes in your own energy really has an effect on the people around you and the connections that you have with people around you you see the beautiful sun card is here so you have the moon and the sun so every time when you feel like an opportunity arises or something comes on your pathway in the month of january but also you know beyond january of course every time you take it on and you you really stare it in the face basically not running off or walking away from the fear maybe you have certain fears towards an unknown thing or an unknown opportunity or traveling you know somewhere um when you take it on like you're like seeing it as a challenge and you're not walking away definitely instantly i see some beautiful like opportunities coming from that but also like you you start off with the moon but you you're walking towards it and then it's already illuminated so quickly you'll get your answers quickly you will um being asked to walk by sight and not by yeah walk by faith and not by sight this year that's something i feel strongly okay so nine of pentacles again it's getting that offer or getting that thing finally coming in for you where you've been working on where you've been um, hoping for wishing for really something stable so this year is long-term planning that especially these next two years definitely long-term planning but in the month of january you receive something that can help you up on this journey i also feel like maybe you've been actually waiting for someone to come and offer you something i feel like it might actually be an explanation or some clarity or like you just really want to know like what the feelings you know what the true feelings are of the other person um i see that january really does bring in those answers you really will see what their approach is you might have someone coming at you in the month of january where they're really you know um like they're really forward with their energies like you know um they really make it known that they're into you <laughs> um but they're also offering something stable so not just the flighty here and there you know i really do see that it's also something stable that be is in that even though a lot of you guys are really not open for anything deep you know i'm really not open for anything in depth or you just want to focus on yourself at this moment in time regardless if you're connected to someone or not it's like you know your focus is on what do i want to do this year like where am i going on an individual level like me i need to work on building my own solid foundation not feeling like i am 
leaning on someone for emotional support or leaning some on someone for financial support you just want to feel like you're standing stable and grounded in your own life in your own you know surrounding basically regardless if you are married or dating someone or you know moving in with someone it's like i want to have that level of um commitment you know as, as well commitment with the taurus card with the hierophant of having a commitment to your own independence very strong i love that so the hierophant and the queen of pentacles i also feel like maybe you're dealt with someone who was quite on their own like really you're having a hard time committing i do see a commitment coming from someone towards you like it was couldn't really put your finger on what they want from you all right beautiful nine of nine of pentacles ten of pentacles if you commit to the thing that you're good at gemini if that thing that makes you special the thing you feel intrigued if you focus on long-term planning and you're really setting your goals and not afraid to commit to a long-term commitment like not necessarily only with love also with like a job or you know like starting from the bottom and working your way up you really will see a continuous basis of things just moving up if you stay connected and if you stay committed to it you will definitely have some great rewards and just a continuous payout for the work you put in so it's not like it just comes falling from the sky but it does definitely give you that motivation because like you see that things are coming at you you know if you put in work you see a good payout coming in and then it motivates you to actually keep on putting energy somewhere or stretching yourself going beyond getting outside your comfort zone because actually you find that there's a lot a lot of fun stuff outside your comfort zone it's not so scary after all is what i'm hearing all right nine of swords with the five of swords it's important for you to not want to make shortcuts in the month of January, right? If you want a quick win or a quick fix or a quick this, you'll. I don't really feel that it in the long term it will be that positive for you. So it's imp it's important for you to sort of come together, work together with with people. Sometimes it is actually for moving, you know, your own individual journey and adding someone to that. You might have reached the limit of the max. Of what you could do for your company or your business or something like that by yourself you might actually have to maybe get an assistant or have to sort of working with someone that just comes on your pathway stay open for that have your energy open for that and don't um neglect the opportunities that arise you know in front of you sometimes it's you feel i feel like there's a strong energy around you where you're trying to hold on to just doing it by yourself wanting to get to the top just by yourself even though you're meant to sort of walk a pathway with like-minded people it's not for all but that's for some of you because there's something in your mind a mindset that is harming you not helping you ten of swords with the page of pentacles i feel like maybe you have gr had great disappointment disappointment sorry in working with other people and that's why you want to sort of stay away from it you really are <laughs> i feel like some of you really on edge about merging two things together whether it's actually your life your single life and someone else single life and, and you know merging it into a existing relationship with a label and stuff <laughs> but for other of you it's really more on a um in your own pathway it's like being no you're like really not open to that ten of pentacles you're like the ten of cups see maybe you don't want that you want the joint emotions you want to feel you know the depth of that you want to share emotion one on the body you do not want to merge your money like there's something you're off maybe it's the other person you can you know apply it vice versa but maybe you're really off about merging the finances together you just want the you know emotional part of of things together the loyalty and all of that the emotional support and all of those things but the money needs to just stay separate that's something that you're pretty clear about 
Then you have the Ace of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Exactly. You need to make certain cuts where when it comes to work, don't overwork yourself. Don't overwork. Don't overdo it. Like I said, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And I keep seeing 10-10. I don't know if some of you connect to that. I, I, I wanted to start your reading. I saw 10-10. I saw 10-10 this morning. Now I just looked up and it was 10-10 on the thing while I'm recording so it's like I don't know if there's something that is connecting to you guys but keep your eyes open for the signs because they're trying to let you know that the 1010 like that's something come to an end a way of feeling about working with other people a way of um, overworking yourself because you just really want to do it <laughs> like if I want to do it right I gotta do it myself you know and I'm not, you know, I'm right there with you. It's not something that, uh, you know, I don't have a free pass in that either. I also need to. I also have to learn in life that sometimes you can't do everything by yourself. But, yeah. As, as long as it's not taking away all your creative energy. What's, ooh. Look who fell on the ground. Let me just pick it up really quickly. If I can find it. Where is she? Ah, oh, there she go. Look who fell down. The star card. When, for example, let's say, you're being asked to do something creatively, right? And there's a lot of things involved when it comes to creative endeavors. Like, even when it comes to, like, doing these tarot readings, there's a lot of backstage work to do. A lot more than a lot of people think. There's just all these practical sides to it, practical things you have to take care of, but which has nothing to do with the work, nothing to do with the tarot, with the spiritual of it all. It's really that practical side. If you really ha are overwhelmed in the practical work, then you might have less energy to do this, for example, the spiritual world work, the creative work. And so for you, it's important to look at the balance and starting off this year, if you really set some healthy goals and boundaries and look at things from, you know, really trying to get out of your comfort zone and look at things, what is serving you, what isn't. And then do you have to let go of a certain belief system that you have to have control of it all? Then you can actually really, that could really be helpful for you for the rest of the year. Because we will get a little confusion left and right in 2021. But in January, it's a really clear visual month. They can really see things clearly and really can get some clear answers and change your ways in order to, for it to serve you very well this entire year. So that's why I wanted to say that, like, look at, at those things for yourself. Are you actually tired with things that someone else could do for you? or could help you with or vice versa you see maybe you could do or be that for someone else because the thing is is that you're walking your pathway but there's something about your destiny destined pathway something about your you know your soul's journey and the things that you're meant to do that are in alignment with your true authentic self right let's say your purpose but there are some certain things involved in your purpose because that's the field, that's um, the journey where there are things that you can share the load with other people. And then there are certain essentials that only you can do and that makes you, uh, you know, connected to that particular pers uh, purpose. So I'm feeling a little bit back and forth going in that. But it looks great. It looks great. It's almost like you get out of your own way in the month of January and you start to feel the vibes. You start to feel the vision and you start to feel the amazing energy flow that comes from it. Very motivated, very energetic, very excited. Look, the two of wands and the two of cups came right, fell right down on the ten of cups. So it's like merge things together really see like how can we plan our future how can we plan a future and have future ideas and goals together without us getting uncomfortable with the commitment you know it's like how can we make this work for us how can we both work on our own things separately and work towards you know merging that together at one point but we both are still on an individual level satisfied and content with our own things so that's what i'm feeling maybe if you're not connecting to someone right now 
then it's about learning how to open up. You might actually have a lot of shifts and changes in your business and they actually help you to open up for that commitment this year. Because, you know, you have the first and the seventh house. There's a lot of realization things and a, and, and a big shift in your relationships as exactly with the Wheel of Fortune. There's just, they will just be here because of, you know, North Node in your sign. And then the south node, of course, your seven houses in Sagittarius. So it does. There will be shifts and changes happening, um, which I already feel that feel like there is already a lot happening in that field for you. But it will continue. So all the other things, all the other aspects in your life, also directly connect to that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, a romantic partnership or connection, but it's business. It's it's a family, it could be friends, you know, all of the things, the relationship you have with yourself and the relationship you connect to with your higher self. It's like all of those things are up for review and maybe changes. All right. I'm going to take one of these cards. I have a card for Gemini, please. A card for Gemini. nine of winter beautiful okay so this is a this is the card that connects to the moon card your worries and fears are aren't real they're fueled by confusion uh, sorry focusing on the negative which gives power to that which you are afraid of stop worrying let go of the fear and everything will be okay that's so powerful because that's what we said. If you take it head on, you're letting go of the fear of the unknown. Because often it's like fearing something because you haven't met it yet or because you have you don't know what it is. It could be anything. Then go it forward with that energy. Take it head on and you will see that it's not so scary after all. Like not at all. So everything will be okay if you take away your focus of on you fearing the worst or thinking the worst or negative viewpoint on what could go wrong all of that if you reset that energy and if that's not connected to you you already are on that pathway so you're doing great all right gemini um i think that this is it for january i don't want to make them too long i'm working on you know uh change some things but i'll start that with the february readings um Thank you once again for supporting me 2000, in 2020. I hope to see you part of the Soul Family in this new year. Once again, make it a good one. I love you so much, Gemini. And um, go get them, you know, go for it. All right. Bye, Geminis.